Oh, this is cool. E36 with an EcoBoost. Always about throwing batteries in the ocean. Don't throw batteries in the ocean. Or do, I don't care. It's way more <laughs> fun to throw them in the ocean. This is like one of my favorite cars here. E46, you got the VSKF work combo. Is this your car? Yeah. Cool, we're about to talk shit about it. 46 sedan. Coyote with a blower. Yeah, that's a big turbo on there. Hi, Dan. Hey, Chelsea. Here at Grid Life, gonna do a walkthrough of the cars. Gonna give you guys a little insight on what's going on. I'm gonna point at some things and try to figure some things out with people's cars. I think everybody's doing a lunch break right now, so it might just be empty, and it might just be me aimlessly looking at everyone's cars. S14, it's got LS, looks like a full BTR setup. Vortec blower, damn, this thing's got some juice to it. It's got a Boss front end, looks like FDF. Everything's paint matched on it, I like that, it's pretty good. Full interior, even a headliner, dang. Look at the seat position though, that's crazy. Super tight. Finished rear panel, some pinstriping. Looks like, I don't know, I think it's a 265-35 on there. Dual caliper, kooky. It's not a kooky anymore though, really. It was, it was, it was an original kooky. Got it. Are you the owner of the car? Yeah. Sweet, yeah, you're looking good out there. Thank you. Pretty sweet. We're just walking around checking out everybody's stuff. Oh, it's sick. I think Hell I was, yeah. I, I think I was driving with you once. It was like you Dean, me, and the pink car. Yep, At yep. Point, I think I saw you jump up back. behind us. Yep, for sure. Yeah. All right, moving on. Look out, don't get run over. Ah, run. Got another S14 here. Looks like an East 10 car. Looks like maybe Dog Box, Alcantara Dash. It's an S15 Alcantara Dash. Lots of pink. Looks like everyone's pretty much running 265-35s here. It looks like it has a V8 with a turbo. Hard to tell. Don't know much about it. What's up? Got some road race stuff. Some bad ringlands probably. Subaru hate, sorry. Got an E36. Drifty by nature. Okay, okay. Looks like M52 turbo, top mount, Venos. It's a little small radiator there with a the fan spaced off. I wonder if he's having cooling problems. Interesting. SLR, BCs, M50 manifold. Looks like a boost lab, maybe like a 3076 turbo on there. Tire check would be the same, 265s. Okay, E46 here. It's got some, looks like maybe some FDF parts. This wing, danger, danger. So it's still got a small diff in this. It is a M54 with a supercharger. Man, I wish this guy was here because this looks interesting. It looks like it's got a roots blown supercharger and intake manifold set up. Big heat exchanger. But yeah, E46 FDF looks like. Oh, this is cool. E36 with an EcoBoost. So it looks like a two liter EcoBoost on this, which you can usually tell easily by the exhaust manifold. Um, it has a very, very small uh, turbine housing on there. Um, so this probably is right at about 270, 280 wheel maybe if it's cranked up. It looks like it's got a link on it. So this would be very similar to my Fox body, just two liter instead of two, three. Looks like BCs. Some extended lower control arms. I thought this was Duarte's car for a second when I saw it earlier, but I wonder what gearbox, probably ZF still. Oh yeah, full interior. It's got the carpet dash cover on there with an M coupe cluster. That's interesting. That's different. You don't see that very often, especially on an M3 or a whatever, 328 sedan probably. Pretty sick. He's on a little smaller tire, probably because he's a little bit more down on power, but this car's gotta be crazy lightweight. It's gotta be really light. Proper fan, big fan. Big fan of the big fans. It's my buddy JB's car. Yeah, I think that's the... Jay-Z, I drove this car um, up in Ohio. Belt's on backwards, I forgot about that. Oh, is it? Oh, the belt routing's wrong? No, it's just backwards. Oh. See, let it face you. Oh, come on. I'm like, what if he want, what if he put it on this way? And it's still backwards. He yeah. says your belt's on backwards. He's upside down when he put it on. He's all butthurt about it. This thing looks amazing, dude. Yeah, this thing's sweet. It's good. The bolt's good. Where you were, it drives good too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. It's got a tub. 
It's got EFR turbo, big AFCO radiator, 20 line, 20 AN lines, some fresh produce love there. Look at the heat control over here. Good management. This is where the big bucks. You, you got to be a pilot to afford this kind of shit. I don't even have that on my race cars, dude. I stole from the plane. Oh yeah, yeah right. Danger to manifold right on here. Shameless Hard lines. Shameless plug for header shield. Yep. Header shield, look them up. Okay, okay. All the safety lines, marker everywhere. Still has the air filter from his car 20 years ago on there. That's true. Brings it over to every car. Yeah, Is that right? Miata. Yeah, okay, I was right, that's funny. It's those little things, it's those little things. Nice paint, I spec'd him out some VCs, so it's a good setup. Big boy brakes, massive brakes. Convertible, big points on the vert. Very simple interior. We drove this car to the track when I was with him last time. So he street drives it to the track, shreds in, brings it back. Soft top, probably still clears if I remember correctly. Nice carbon wing. The power band in this thing was awesome when I drove it. It's really, really good. Stays cool, runs well. I've been just seeing him turning laps. You got it back? Yeah, the BBTI cam gear failed. Oh, when was that? Uh, the last year. Uh, got it on the dyno and uh, so it's better now than when I drove it last? Uh, next for 150 horses. Holy shnikes! Yeah. It was plenty power when I saw it last. Don't do that. We're going to cover that part. The rest of it's great. Oh, yeah, yeah. AutoZone takes them and gives you money back. I know. Instead of throwing them in the ocean. It's way more fun to throw them in the ocean. <laughs> That's like such an old drift thing. Like Stu and all those guys back in the day. It was like always about throwing batteries in the ocean. Don't throw batteries in the ocean. Or do. I don't care. We got a couple of uh, teammates here. I've been seeing them out there shredding these things. 14. Here's your favorite car, dude. I know, dude. This is all you. It's so sick. Yeah, put a Jay-Z in it. Took out the junk that was in it. Sorry. No, I agree, dude. I agree. All these cars are really nice and well set up. Again, with the heat management. They must have talked about that at some point. They all got together on it. One fan, though. Oh, dual pushers. Dual pushers. I feel that. Actually, it's because of the goofy firewall these things have. They're yeah. like offset to one side. I actually got an inline, like a small radiator under the back with a fan on it too, just to get some more. Cool. Okay, all right, like a heater core we type were, deal. Yeah, we were fighting it a little bit, but. Nice. Super sick, dude. Thank you, appreciate it. What throttle body is that? It's like a Bosch 68. Okay. With the adapters pedal. on there, yeah. that's cool. Yeah, it's like pretty I've never sick. Done a heat on one. I like it. It's nice. Yeah. Sick. Some fancy bolts there, like lug nuts. <laughs> Fitted and kitted, boys. Full interior, got the hydro cut out. It's on a link. Super low seating position. He's got some dirt in there, so you know, you know he was partying. And we got the Z over here, slammed. Big Leon hearts on the rear, at least. You got the SSRs on the front. Vert. Vert life. I've always been a vert person. Some cars pull it off, some don't. This car as a vert doesn't look good unless you have this type of a kit on it to complete the look. Yeah. Round is bad. Round is bad. Round is bad. You got the big boy over here, the SVT blower on S197. This looks familiar. Yep. We shot this at the Orlando event and it never did anything with it because it got cut short, I think. Or did we put it in the video? I can't remember. So yeah, big power, big three valve. Bo three valve. Like, oh, look at that sweet coyote. No, three valve. Three valve. You can tell by how hot it gets. That's why you got a full size radiator in the back. I know. And a massive heat exchanger, everything. T56 in this, or what is in this? Oh, uh, 6060. Oh, TR6060. Yeah. Okay, cool. Little flares in the back, rear mount rab with the scoop to get some airflow there. I like that, it's cool. Is that a backup cam right there? Yeah. In the print, 3D printed bracket? Her dad works for Joe Gibbs. Okay. So he does arrow. Nice. He's like, I'll, I'll make something. Love that. So yeah, solid axle car. This thing's ripping pretty good out there. And we got across the way, we don't get run over. We got Dylan, M52, Vanos, turbo setup. This has been through a few revamps I've been following, but uh, 
He's finally got everything working. I wonder if he plugged his Venos in yet. Maybe. If he's got Venos again, it's gonna be solid. And then proper, all the fabrication's really nice. Stock clutch fan, he knows. E34 water neck, he knows. Stock radiator. All you guys are overheating. Turbo car, FD driver being an asshole out there. Stock cooling system. Stock. And it doesn't overheat. Stop f***ing with your shit, assholes. Stop, stop wasting money. Your car came with the best setup. Get up in here. Okay, so gutted door. Lots of steel it going on in here. Tilt and pedal. Oh, he went in on this thing, huh? It's no longer a street car at all. You know this car went through my gate at my house and smashed into my Miata? Really? Yeah. This was the red one originally, right? He's at my house and he reached in to start the car and it was in gear and he it fired up, took off. He wasn't in the car. It went through my gate and smashed into my Miata, wrecked the back of the bumper and everything in this car. And now it's a race car. Dog box going ham over here now. Oh my God. Yo, is this 2024 20, FD car or what? Quick change, all the goodies. Hell yeah. 18s up front too, all, all the wheel size. All right, this is like one of my favorite cars here. E46, super sick style. You got the VSKF work combo, mild build LS, very simple. Big oil cooler, power steering cooler, very, very simple. And the outside is very simple as well. No livery, no nothing. Just overs, slammed, and that's it. He's not asking for you to look, but you're gonna look, cause it's sick. Interior is pretty much full, front half. Nice cage, looks like a chromoly cage actually. Interesting. For that extra flex, got some race door cards on there. It's on a link again, lots of link stuff going on here. Actually, this may be stock ECU, it just might have a link dash on it. Another E46 over here with some very interesting exhaust scenario going on here. So LS looks like uh, aluminum block LS turbo setup with a straight pipe, literally. Um, so it's really loud from one side of the car. Looks like flipped header setup truck accessories and uh, like maybe a holly harness here to set up. Um, look in terms of, yeah, no headlights, no lighting. I'm not 100% what steering kit that is. Maybe it's, I think it's IRP. It says FDF here, but I'm not sure that that is an FDF kit. Maybe it is. Very cut out. Looks very, like he's going for the lightweight cutouts. Pedal box, tilting, got his only gauge. Oh, he's got an EFI or a holly dash, but Looks like a boost gauge. Oh, Samsonis sequential. Okay. This thing is a bit turned up more than I thought it was. So Samsonis sequential. Fuel cell with a big bleeder set up, a rollover valve. Everything's cut out. Looks like maybe a work in progress, but everything that's going on so far is really, really well put together. Big 20 AN lines. V8 turbo though. Not a fan, not a fan. We got Fun Haver E36. I know a little bit about this just because I know. So there's LS under the hood. It's like 420-ish horsepower. My friend Reese drives this. It looks like uh, most of the interior and he got, he got whacked last weekend in the passenger side. It looks like they got a good job fixing it, but always keeps his car clean. It's him and his dad that maintain the car, manage it all. Look at the shift knob, dude. Lego man, I love that. That's really good. I'm gonna open the door. Super nice cage, it's one and three quarters, so very beefy. Um, they went way above and beyond on that, but the cage fits really nice. And it's got a lot of safety going on for sure. Obviously he's really young. I think he's now like 17 or 18, um, but he started drifting when he was really, really young. Let's see if I can get the hood open. Oh yeah, hood shocks, hood shocks. So you got some, some coating there on the intake manifold with checker flag mat and puzzle pieces. 
Um, looks really simple, you know, just a good radiator, small fan, maybe, maybe, maybe needs some more cooling there, I don't know. Some Eaton relays, just simple LS swap E36 kind of deal. I know it's got a pretty good motor in it. I don't know exactly what LS it is, but it's got it's got a decent jam. What's up? Yeah, exactly. Pretty good. Just checking some stuff out. What are you guys welding over here? I don't even know what's going on. Okay. <laughs> got a good smash here. Was that the FC? Yeah. Okay. I saw both cars come in. I don't feel like up up there. Ah. Wait, what? I had like a little 5 4 train in my old Yeah, I was getting out and like, I was like, shit, my tire is now still in the car. Like, it's got flat. Jesus. Be careful out there, boys. Is this Midori Green? Yes, sir. My man. True Honda, true Honda vibes. True Honda vibes. What's in this? K or still? Turbo K24. Okay. So last year it was a Turbo F series. Okay. And the K is better than the F? I think the F's probably a superior motor if you want to make more power. This um, is more cost effective or what? Yes, so like the, yeah. I sold my F series off. Pistons, rods, head studs, valve springs, retainers for 2,500 bucks, picking, including buying the motor. Nice, so, and how much power does this make? Uh, I made 530 and then 430 to torque. Which nice, is a cool thing. at so like 15, turbo. 16 pounds or something? No, it's like 18 pounds. Okay, 18. Um, 3076 replica turbo. So okay. same turbo I had on my uh, F series. Pulsar, bro. That's right. I mean, I they're, they too. rip, dude. I would not be hating on the Pulsar stuff. That's pretty good for the price. That's the thing. I've ran gear, like I've always, so this car was actually a, a drag car for a while okay. too. It's like a high eight second drag car with a turbo 400 trans. And then I just converted it to a drift car two years ago. So it's had big turbos on it and now nice. you have small turbos. It's got your favorite trans. What's that? CF. Yes, yeah, that's right. My that up. He knows. Like factory stuff like on yep. Yep. Twin disc, uh, set up from the factory. Linky CU, of course. Dude, he's doing my job for me. Come That's on. all. We just need to do this and just have him <laughs> take it. Perfect. Well, I hope you get it fixed up. Thank you, man. No worries. Hey, so I've been made, wanting to meet for like a hundred years. Uh, can you sign my wheel? Sure. Where is it? Cool. <laughs> is this your car? Yeah. Cool. We're about to talk shit about it. Go for it. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> um. <laughs> This thing's sweet. I like it a lot. Thank you. So it's M52. Yep. V28. Yep. Turbo. Yeah. What size turbo is it? 3582. Okay. I feel like that's the best combo. What cams are on it? S50. Hell yeah. It's pretty uh, light switchy, but I haven't really done too aggressive timing yet. It's pretty safe, but it was like 575, 550. At like 18 or 20 pounds? Oh, 23. Oh, 23. oh not a lot of timing yet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was great. Uh, I know. I talked to him It's about so it like hard to manage all this heat. Yeah. You it know what? Up. Bisco's having the same problem though with the bottom forward mount. Okay. All right. I don't think there's anything we can do. That's why the hood's off the whole fucking time. Yeah. I can't do anything about it. Yeah. yeah. Clutch fan. Done. I know. Solve your problem. I, you know, can't you do nothing about it. Put the stock part back on. <laughs> you tuck the radiator to fit it? Yeah, just down and forward or tilt it if you have to and then just... Uh, uh, 530 E34 clutch fan and then the turn it sucks it back a little bit so the fan blades are to this side but some of them hit the uh, venus or the axolotl okay i can fuck with you slr front bar yeah 35r yeah this is a good combo m52 with a 35r it's like if you have it tuned and spiced up it's like Full rip at 4,000, goes to 7,300. Yeah, so it's like uh, 15 pounds gate at 4,000, then by 4,300, it's 24 pounds. Snappy. Yeah. No, stop swapping Jay-Z's into BMWs. <laughs> and it's four-door. And it's a A-plus for that. And it's got some style, dude. Good, cool wheels. Fitman. Drag wing. This looks like a lot of the click stuff, too, I feel like. Uh, Fitment Lab, Fitment Lab, okay. Yeah. It's like Dre Wing, but... Okay. I, got I saw the wheel. Uh, I just did the GSR and 8.8 this winter. Damn, 8.8 swap with GSR, dude. Tire breaking on the I hear that. Alright, this one hits both sides of my program. E46 sedan, Coyote with a blower. <laughs> so it's like everything for the last 10 years, 20 years of my life. 
So E46 sedan. It's got the Coyote with the blower. Oh, he put the whole Mustang dash in it too. And it's on HP tuners. <laughs> Dang, this is it right here, dude. This is sweet. So yeah, whole Mustang dash. Actually, it fits really good in there. Does uh, the chime four door. What's that? Does the chime and everything. The Does it really? <laughs> <laughs> ding, ding. I love that. Hell yeah. So big duck club kit. Still, still got metal doors. That's good. Sunroof delete. One and a half cage. One and a half inch tube. 18 square. Wise fab setup, it looks like. That motor is a tight fit. Yikes. It is super close. I don't think this would fit in an E36. I think it would only fit in an E46. Roots blower, lots of radium goodies. Looks like fuel rails, fuel pressure regulator. Um, maybe even some of the fuel stuff in the rear. Big heat exchanger. It looks like he probably got like a wrecked Roush car and just swapped everything into it because it's got the Roush exchanger and all that stuff. It's got to make some jam and make a huge power band. Looks like maybe it was a 330 originally because it's got the bigger brakes on there. The mesh chassis here with a kooky front. I don't know much about this one. It's got a crazy livery on it. Big stretch front tires. It's got some big rear tires on it. This might be the biggest tire so far. He's on the two eight fives. Extra juice. And then uh, one JD S13. Another crazy livery. It's a samurai fighting a tiger on the side. Very yes, JDM. Big Miata guy. Big Miata guy. It's got a pink cage in it. I don't know what's uh, what's done to it though. Maybe we can see up front. Oh, these fenders are interesting. I've never seen those before. Oh, and the rear one too. Yeah. Weird. It's kind of a subtle kit. I like that. I guess it's probably a turbo Miata motor. Oh, turbo I like these one six. Turbo one six. Sick. Those headlights are cool. I don't know which ones those are. It's got TE wraps going around. Hard top. Dude, these are getting impossible. Some sick gauges. The gauge cluster is cool. It's like a retro style gauge cluster. Some of those gauge clusters are really rare, worth a ton of money, like right hand drive. All these companies make the gauge clusters for Miatas and they're really expensive. Okay, well, I was gonna wait till the dyno is over, but he finished. 350Z. Big oil cooler. Factory power steering tool. Not 100% sure what motor's in this. Maybe stock. I'm not sure. Oh, the gate, the, the uh, steering wheel, the little bracket, so he still has cruise control and all that. It's kind of neat. It's a good touch. Big handbrake that says lit, bro. I feel like that's it for this part of the drift pack. Let's see if we can go to the other side. We made it to the other side. Not, not all the way until I saw this ute. And it brought me back to Australia a couple weeks. So this has been completely cut out in the back. I'm not sure what rear end that is, but the brackets are crazy for the traction arm and all that. It's like a billet bracket that bolts onto the axle. It comes forward. So you can, uh, it's basically four linked with a bracket. And then he's got electronic water pump. It looks like either an E90 or a Stewart guy. Fuel cell with dual O44s. Big radiator, big V fan in the back, because obviously he's got all the room, why not? The old Ute here, ooh, little, little flex <laughs> there. That's what this is for. It's lightweight, dude. It's lightweight. So yeah, inside, looks like it's on a Motec. It's got a barrel with a massive turbo on it. Oh yeah, Yo. big boy with the giant dose pipe, Yo. seven inch intake. Yeah, that's a big turbo on there. It looks like a G, man, 4204 maybe. It might even be bigger than that. It might be a 45. It's a 42. It is a 42, okay. 4202 or? I was right with my first guess. It's got a big Turbonetics gate on there. Pretty nice fabricated manifold. Motec harness, a little manifold here for all of his uh, gauges and stuff, and uh, 
it's like a kit set of cut and shut knuckles on there. Thank you so much. Get yourself some more angle with the factory stuff. Oil cooler. It's real nice having the radiator in the back. Looks like it gives them a lot more space. Look at the size of this catch can too. <laughs> it's huge. Looking sick. Such a big engine. Oh yeah. Mass is so tall. Roof scoop too. I missed that on the last one. That works really good at keeping the smoke out of the car. It just creates a positive pressure area. Hi Dan. If you want to see his cars, I have a video about him. We'll drop it in the link. This is the other half of the S2000 Crash Rooney. I don't know what happened, but this is the other half of it. FC RX-7 with uh, LS, looks like aluminum LS. Obviously, it's going to require some work to get back on track, but it's all still here. We might as well talk about it. Oh, I like the cup holder. He's got a cup holder on the dash. Nice. It's a little things. Like everybody, that just shows he had a little extra time to put a cup holder in his car. I like it for whatever reason that is. <laughs> whatever. All right, so moving on. We got Dan's car over here. Like I said, lots of info on those cars in the video that we did already. Um, this is a Seams Legit E46. It has a DCT gearboxes in it. Um, and that's what they basically did their development on, I think. Um, so it's kind of neat. It's a road race car, not a drift car. Um, it's an SR powered S13 Coru Works parts on it. So if you watch our recent video, it's got all the Coru Works stuff on it. I like the oil filter reminder. Grid life, you know, the date. So you know the last time it was changed by a vent. I might have to steal that. That's pretty smart. Excessive intake manifold. This car wasn't there when we were there, I don't think. No, it wasn't. And then uh, inside, just super simple flock dash, link ECU, it's got a storm it looks like. And a uh, nice little dash that's labeled, it's like a 3D printed dash um, cluster holder type setup. Little battery, just simple SR S13, how they should be. Okay, so not a drift car, but my favorite car here pretty much. It's got to be this 190E with a current Mercedes motor. So this is a new M133, which is like the current turbo AMG motor that comes in some of the smaller AMG cars. And they put it in basically what they build is like a DTM, BTCC style uh, 190E. And some of the cool stuff they did was like OEM style filter, and then like a lot of keeping and retaining OEM related stuff. Um, they still have all the direct injection, it's basically stock motor. It's just turned up and uh, modified, basically, like bigger intercooler, better cooling, all that stuff. It's got the Speedway Motors radiator or something like that with the lid cut off of it. This is all of my cars also have this. <laughs> so it's funny to see people also doing the same thing and having the same ideas. Um, the livery on this thing is sick. It's like a kickback to the old school 80s, early 90s touring car. Really, really nice white unibody cage old school style power distribution. They used to always put the power and switches on these little stanchions that came up the dash. And then a factory stack gauge in the center, which is just super simple for driver usage. Obviously they're still pinging through our, uh, their harness and getting some of that stuff done, but really, really nice car. The full wide body, the big DTM wing, and it's kind of embodying like that 80s, 90s. Three rotor, 80s, 90s, uh, DTM, BTCC car. Obviously, Falcons out of FD this year, but they're still supporting drifting. They always will. Um, and we got JTP's car out here. This is his FD car, previous to last year's, I think. I think. Uh, so this is basically what he ran uh, up until 2021, I believe. Don't quote me on it. Uh, his newer car was lighter weight and built a little bit differently. Uh, but yeah, built Coyote, blower, um, huge, super responsive motor. It's like right at like 900, I think. It could be higher turned up. Uh, it's always like a style too with the ram lights, you know, proper fitting wheels, demo car so it doesn't have to be crazy hooked up so you don't have to sink the wheels in or do anything. You have it look really, really nice. And he builds everything on his cars himself. So everything you see in here is him, the driver, building it. So super nice cages. Everything's adjustable. 
really well built, all the fab, like a lot of little attention to detail stuff, which is cool. He gets in the shop and just has fun dialing everything in really, really well. So yeah, this would have quick change, this would have a uh, dog box, this would have, like I said, a thousand horsepower, rear mount radiator, all the radium parts, pretty much everything you need to uh, run FD. And then it's probably turned down a little bit, a little bit safer, so that you can come out here and shred laps all day.